Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, February 26, 2022. Kenya allowed to export fresh avocados to China. This article is taken from the Kenyan newspaper, The Star. Kenya can now export fresh avocados to China. This is in addition to the export of frozen avocados, uh, avocado fruits granted market access in 2019. This follows successful completion of a rigorous pest risk analysis carried out by Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Services, KEPHIS, at the National Plant Protection Organization of China. KEPHIS Managing Director Theophilus Mutui said the analysis was aimed at identifying quarantine pests of concern to China, which should be controlled before export. All the fresh avocado fruits must comply with all applicable Chinese phytosanitary plant health laws and regulations, health and safety standards. The produce should also be free from any quarantine pests of concern to China, he said in a statement sent on Friday. In April 2019, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, signed an agreement that allowed the export of frozen avocado. The deal required export of frozen avocados at a temperature of between minus seven to 15 degrees. This would help control the fruit fly pest, which is common in Kenya. But, but by 2021, Kenya's export market of frozen avocados to China was yet to pick. Benjamin Tito, Director, Horticulture Crops Directorate under the Agriculture and Food Authority, AFA, told the Star in an interview that this was because most exporters have been unable to meet the stringent requirement to enjoy the market. He said by 2020, Kenya was only able to ship a single container of 20 foot tons of ripe frozen avocados against a big potential. Once harvested, one is supposed to remove the outer cover and seed. So you are left with the avocado itself. It is this part that is required to be packed and shipped and get to the China market at this temperature. Failure to do this, the fruit will turn brown and this will compromise on quality, he said. By the end of that year, only one out of 100 firms had met the export requirements set by the Chinese government, he added. Mutui said all producers and exporters intending to export fresh avocado to China must have all their production farms, pack houses, and fumigation treatment facilities registered by KEPHIS. Further, they are required to apply good agricultural practices, GAP, and keep good sanitary conditions as well as implement integrated pest management programs, including pest monitoring, chemical and biological control, and any other pest control operations. And uh, what I'm getting from this is that uh, to add value, perhaps, the, the Kenyan avocado farmers uh, would do well to, uh, to export their avocados uh, as, as uh, frozen um, produce. Uh, I'm assuming that they would make more money that way. Uh, but as you saw in the article, uh, not many of them are able to meet the stringent requirements uh, by China. And so if, if they can make more money this way, add value that is, which is always the aim of, of uh, the African continent, then they should do whatever it takes. And, excuse me, um, to, 
to this end, uh, it would be good for them to form cooperatives, which wasn't mentioned in the article. And I know uh, in the coffee industry, cooperatives are, are, are very successful. And that's because the, you have small scale farmers all coming together. And usually with cooperatives, you have hundreds, if not thousands of farmers coming together. And once they come together, they uh, put all their resources together. They can buy the equipment and supplies that they need uh, to, uh, to get the maximum price for, for their produce. And so now with the new agreement with China, with the fresh avocados that, that these farmers can sell, if they want to go that route, I recommend that they form cooperatives as well because the requirements uh, of China are, are stringent. And, and so the more people that they have working together as cooperatives, the better. And all it takes is for them to know what the requirements are and then they all get on the same page and they're able to do it. And, and as I said before, cooperatives, what makes them successful is that they pull their resources together uh, to buy the necessary equipment and, and supplies that they need. 